Thank you, Martin. Now we turn to a situation growing more dire by the day here in the U.S. That's the baby formula shortage. Senator Shelley Moore Capito is co-sponsoring two separate bills to address the problem. That's along with calling on the FDA to find out why the situation got to this point in the first place. The House has already voted to send $28 million to the FDA, all in an effort to alleviate the shortage. But in the short term, Capito says it's just not enough. The, the House just passed some money to uh, to move forward on this, but that's you're still not going to, it's going to be six to eight weeks before you get actual production. So we need to go to the production part first, and that's what I think the Defense Production Act will do. The House also approved a measure to allow formula to be purchased from a federal program for low-income families. President Biden invoked the Defense Production Act yesterday, allowing the Department of Defense to offer its help in mitigating supply chain issues.